In this video we share Garabandal prophecy, Pope Francis, and Moscow. First, a background on the Garabandal apparitions in Spain from 1961 to 1965. There, the Blessed Mother appeared to four girls about 2,000 times. Except for Mari Loli who died in 2009, the other girls are now adults with families, Conchita, Jacinta, and Mary Cruz. Why believe in Garabandal? For many reasons that cannot be contained in this space. But allow me one reason, Saint Padre Pio confirmed Garabandal's supernatural authenticity. Padre Pio, who was still on earth at the time of the apparitions, he passed away in 1968, had met with one of the visionaries, Conchita, in his monastery in San Giovanni Rotondo. Father José Luis Saavedra, in his book Garabandal, Message of Hope, noted that in 1962, Padre Pio wrote the Sears a letter which was opened by Sia Conchita in the presence of seminarian Felix Lopez of Bilbao, who translated the Italian that Padre Pio used. The letter said. Dear girls, at nine o'clock this morning, the Blessed Virgin told me to tell you. O oh, Blessed Girls of San Sebastian de Garabandal. I promise you I will be with you until the end of the times and you will be with me at the end of the world, and afterwards united with me in the glory of paradise. I send you a copy of the Holy Rosary of Fatima that the Virgin has ordered me to send to you. This Rosary has been dictated by the Blessed Virgin and must be propagated for the salvation of sinners and the preservation of humanity from the worst of the chastisements that the good God is threatening. I give you just one counsel, pray and encourage prayer, because the world is at the beginning of perdition. They don't believe in you or in your conversations with the woman in white. They will believe when it is too late. The proximity of the three major prophecies in Garabandal is manifested in events now happening in the world. One revelation on this was Conchita's quoting the Blessed Mother as saying that the Pope would visit Moscow and that soon after his return to the Vatican, Europe would be in turmoil and that this is one of the events hinting on the occurrence of the warning. No Pope has ever been in Moscow, but since last year, Pope Francis has been expressing his desire to visit Russia without yielding any definitive itinerary. Alas on January 30th, the Russian news Sputnik reported, Pope Francis hopes to visit Russia in spring. We all hope that by that time the hostilities will cease. His arrival will not frighten our orthodox society, it will not be grandiose either. This is a modest visit. There will be no major services, for example, at the stadium, said Leonid Sevastyanov, the leader of the World Union of Old Believers. The reference was to spring this year, after historic winters in many Western countries. Another hint on the fulfillment of the three major prophecies was also from Conchita who cited one indicative event being the holding of a synod. Remember that the Synod of Synodality initiated by Pope Francis two years ago ends this year. Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerich has already announced a Synod of Bishops in October this year, beginning with the three-day retreat led by a Dominican preacher, Father Timothy Radcliffe, some of whose theological statements have previously sparked controversy. Most known of Conchita's prophetic quotes of the Blessed Mother referred to three more popes, excluding Pope John Paul I because of his short 33-day reign, after then Pope John XXIII, before the end times, not the end of the world. Counting, the last of the three was Pope Benedict XVI. This puts Pope Francis within the framework of the end times. Finally, amid serious Russian threats of conflict beyond the borders of Ukraine following escalating provocations from both the US and NATO, what the Garabandal seers said could be recalled. Visionary Mari Loli was once asked, since you are not allowed to tell me the exact year of the warning, perhaps you could tell me approximately when it will happen. Mari Loli responded, it will be at a time when the world will most need it. Then it was asked when is that? Loli said, when Russia will suddenly and unexpectedly overrun a great part of the free world. God does not want this to happen so quickly. 
In any case the warning will come when you will see the Holy Mass cannot be celebrated freely anymore, then it will be that the world will most need the intervention of God. Mari Loli knew only the year of the warning, but she died in 2009 without revealing this. She also said that the Blessed Mother told her prior to the warning and the great miracle, a time would come, when it would look like the church was finished, when priests would have difficulty saying mass and talking about holy things. There would come a time when the church would give the impression of being on the point of perishing. It would pass through a terrible test. Priests would supposedly have to hide in order to say mass. It is then that the world will be in most need of God's intervention. Mari Loli quoted the Blessed Mother as saying this would happen when communism has taken over many countries. Of the three Garabandal major prophecies, the warning is to come first, followed within one year by the miracle and, if mankind does not convert, the chastisement. Some words about the warning, which was also cited by St. Faustina Kowalska, St. Edmund Campion, and Blessed Anna Maria Taigi, among other now denizens of heaven. Here's an interview of Conchita in 1965. Question, will the warning be a visible thing or an interior thing or both? Her reply, the warning is a thing that comes directly from God and will be visible throughout the entire world, in whatever place anyone might be. Question, will the warning reveal personal sins to every person in the world and to persons of all faiths, including atheists? Her reply, Yes, the warning will be like a revelation of our sins and it will be seen and experienced by believers and non-believers and people of any religion whatsoever. Question, is it true that the warning will cause many people to remember the dead? Her reply, the warning is like a purification for the miracle. And it is a sort of a catastrophe. It will make us think of the dead, that is, we would prefer to be dead than to experience the warning. Question, will the warning be recognized by the world as a direct sign from God? Her reply, certainly, Claro, and for this reason I believe it is impossible that the world could be so hardened as not to change. Another interview in 1968. Question, we have heard that some say the warning may be a natural phenomenon but will be used by God to speak to mankind. Is this true? Her reply, the warning is something supernatural and will not be explained by science. It will be seen and felt. Question, Conchita, can you explain the statement that during the warning we will know ourselves and the sins we have committed? Her reply, the warning will be a correction of the conscience of the world. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.